In this video, I want to show you how to rotate a figure around a point. So we see in this example, it says counterclockwise rotation of 150 degrees around point P. So that means point P is the center of this circular path that triangle ABC is going to rotate around. Counterclockwise means in the opposite directions that the hands of a clock spin. So the hands of a clock spin this way. So counterclockwise is in the opposite direction. So this entire triangle is going to rotate 150 degrees counterclockwise around this point, point P. Now the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use a protractor and we're going to draw angles connecting each point to their new locations and each angle will be 150 degrees. So how do we start? We're going to start with point A. We're going to connect point P to point A and we are going to draw a line segment. Next, I want to line up my vertex with point P and the baseline with A, and I want to mark off where 150 degrees is. We're on this side, so zero at the bottom. Here's 150. I'm going to mark a small point there, and now I'm going to draw a line connecting point P to that point I just marked. And the line does not need to be dark. Make it nice and light. Okay? Just enough for you to see. Now I need to figure out where A prime ends up on this line. And the way I'm going to do that is by using the ruler end of the protractor to measure the distance between point P and point A. So here, if I line this up, I see that point A is five little ticks, five little markings past the one and a half point. And so the little markings are sixteenths. So then the half point would be eight sixteenths, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen sixteenths. So that's the distance between point P and point A is one and thirteen sixteenths. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here and mark this. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So here is going to be the location of A prime. Mark this in blue. and label it A prime. And so this right here is a 150 degree angle that we just created, okay? And now we need to do the same for the other two points. So let's go ahead and do B next. I'm gonna draw a line from point P to point B. That becomes now our base ray of our angle. And I'm going to line up my vertex and on point P and the crosshair on the line segment we just drew and find 150 is right here. So I'm going to mark this here. Okay. And I'm going to connect again point P to that point and draw a light line. Once again, I need to figure out where B prime ends up along this line. So I need to measure the distance from P to point B. So from P to point B, I am two little ticks past four, and each of the second ticks is a little larger. Those are eighths. So four and one eighths inches away from point P. So I'm going to measure that here. And I didn't go far enough on this line, so I'm going to have to extend it a little bit. And here's four and one eighths is right put that back here. Four and one eighths is right here. So this point right here, this is my location of B prime. Okay. And now I need to do point C. So I'm going to draw a straight line from point P to point C using my pencil. Now I'm going to line up my vertex point and use this new line I just drew with my crosshairs and then mark off where 150 degree angle is, 150 degrees. Then I'm going to take point P and line up with this point and draw a straight line. And finally I need to 
measure the distance from point P to point C. So that is going to be 4 and 1 16th. So one little dash away from 4. From four. So 4 and 1 16th inches. And so this is the location of point C. This point right here. Mark that in blue. And there is C prime. And now I just connect the points together. And so here is my counterclockwise rotation, 150 degrees around point P. And each one of these angles connecting from A to A prime, that's a 150 degree angle. And from B to B prime is a 150 degree angle. And from C to C prime is a 150 degree angle. All right, so let's take a look at a second example here. This one says clockwise rotation of 75 degrees around point Q. So this time we are moving in the same direction that the hands of a clock move. And every point we're going to make a 75 degree angle from each point to their new location. So we're going to go ahead and start with point D. Draw a line connecting point D and point Q. And now I need, need to go clockwise, so I'm going to go this way. And I need to make a 75 degree angle. So I am in this side, so it's the top row and 75 is right here. Get my straight edge and draw my light line. Just enough to see. And now we need to figure out where point D prime ends up and so we have to measure. So right here we see that we are one and one, two, three eighths away. So one and three eighths. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure one and three eighths. One, two, three. This is the location of D prime. Okay, and so now let's do E. Draw our straight line, connecting E and Q. And we're gonna use now this line as our base ray for the angle. And we're gonna mark 75 right here and draw our line. Again, we need to figure out where E prime is going to end up, so we need to measure. So the distance from Q to E is going to be one, two of the larger markings away from two and a half. So again, those are eighths, so this will be four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, so two and six eighths. So I'm going to come here and measure two and six eighths. That's right here. mark that in blue and label that as E prime. And finally, we have to do the same for point F. So I'll draw my line connecting point F to Q. Use that as my base angle this way. Mark 75 is right here the straight edge and draw the line and now I need to figure out where point F is by measuring so from Q to F is about four and a half inches so I'm gonna mark here four and a half inches 
and this is the location of f prime and now again just connect the points So here we have our clockwise rotation of triangle DEF around point Q. And again, each of these angles connecting from D to D prime or from E to E prime or from F to F prime, each of these is a 75 degree angle. 